In this part, we will be talking about the intersection of a straight line and a circle. Probably it should be easy for you to visualize or to consider. There should be three cases popping up when we talk about the intersections of them. So the first case will be there should be two points of intersection where a line cuts across the circle at two distinct points. The other case will be you will see that the line and the circle touch touch at one point. And then you will still remember this line, this particular line, which is touching the circle, is called the tangent to the circle. The last case will be, you see that in this picture, the circle and the line, they are separated to each other. And there is no intersection between them. So like when we are talking about quadratic equations and we want to see how many roots over there, uh, Delta will be helping us to determine how many points of intersection or how many solutions we'll be considering. So for example, in case one, when we are uh, talking about two solutions or two points of intersection, the delta will be greater than zero. The same case uh, in which the line and the circle, they touch to each other and delta will be zero means there is only one solution, one point of intersection. While in the last case, delta will be less than zero because you are talking about uh, they don't have any points of intersection. Now it comes to a question, how or to where we are applying the delta to? In general, you will see that ah, when we are talking about straight line, uh, we can present it in slope intercept form, y is mx plus c. While circle, you have known that uh, the general form will be x squared, y squared, dx, e, y, and f. And to, to where we are applying for the delta, like for example, in the coming up question, are we going to apply delta here? And I did see students doing that like 2x minus y plus 3 equals 0. And then they apply delta will be minus 1 square, b square, minus 4, and a and c. Do you think that is correct? Or in the next one, well, there's a both square. It's like here, number 1, uh, number 2, and number 3. And shall we apply delta here like delta is or 2x, 2y, so that's why b is 2 square, minus 4, a is 1. Isn't it? 12, is it correct? If you find, find them very weird, very strange, that's good because you find I made mistakes here. Because when you're talking about delta, talking about solution, we are not individually looking at uh, each of them. But you do remember that we are talking about whether they have intersection between them. Now I repeat, you are talking about the intersection. That means you are talking about uh, them together. So in this case, so the proper a case of applying delta would be you have to link them up first rather than you consider them separately. So that's why uh, the proper solution would be, okay, let's come to your answer. These are wrong. So bear in mind that you can't apply delta individually to each of them. But at first, for example, we call it number one and we call it number two. And we can put number one into number two first. Because you're talking about the points of intersection, the intersection of them means that you have to put them together, remember, put them together first. And then so it comes up with x squared plus 2x plus 3, bracket square. 2x is still, 2y, it goes to 2x, uh, 2 times 2x plus 3, and um, plus 12, equal, equal to 0. Now you will see that it, it comes to a question about x only, right? And then so in this case, we can talk about intersection. Okay, let's go ahead for uh, uh, the solution as follow. And then you expand it, it goes to 4x square, 2, 3, 6, 12, and 9, 2x, 4x, 6, and 12, you zero finally. And then so I, I missed some steps on simplifying it, and it goes to finally 5x square, 18x, plus 27, you zero. So here comes to the way we can start applying for delta. And then as a result, if you want to know, ah, now we have two equations, number one and number two, and you want to know how many intersections between them, and now you can check for the delta. Delta will be b squared minus 4, a, and c. By using a calculator, can you take a few seconds to do so? Yes, okay, so it goes to minus 216, which is less than zero. So that's why there is no points of intersection. So this is the um, very quick way to see how many intersections between that. If you want to break it down into very small uh, steps, so you may say, okay, step number one, 
you put the things together first because you uh, want to consider them together together okay next step two simplifying the thing or the equations until you have a quadratic okay repeat simplifying the expressions until you have a quadratic finally you go to step three which you check for the delta and see whether it's positive negative or zero and to determine uh, whether there is any point of intersection okay so let's read another example uh, another example would be uh, well now you have an straight line and circle and now we come to a trouble because uh, in the equation of straight line, you can't see any subject as here. So you are asked, right, shall we use line uh, 4y equal to mass 1 minus x? So y is mass 1 over 4, x minus 1 over 4. Or uh, can we just say x is mass 4y minus 1 and do substitution? Which one do you think that we can apply for the coming calculation? Yes, yeah, certainly many students think that the blue one is the choice because it's the format of uh, equation of straight line we use a lot because we can see the slope and we can see the y-intercept. But now we are not struggling about slope and intercept, but we are talking about substitution only. You remember, we want to put them together. So that's why comparatively, the first one you see there are fractions, while the second one there is none. So that's why I would prefer to say uh, x uh, how about I call from 1, okay, this is equation 1, this is equation 2, from 1 we say x is uh, x is mass 4, y mass 1, and I call it equation 3, and afterward I can put <coughs> 3 into number 2, so which is mass 4, y mass 1, bracket square, y square plus 4x minus y, and uh, not 4x, uh, it should be 4 brackets minus 4y minus 1 and minus y equals 0 afterward. And then in this case, you see the calculation is much easier compared to if you're using the blue one, which is in a format you think is more um, often to be used. So that's why uh, making a proper choice in substitution is very important as well. Now coming up next, uh, I also pose you a, a, another difficulty because you have two negative sign brackets square in this case. And let's see whether how or do you remember the, the little tricky way to, to do it. Now, um, personally, I would like to do it in this way because if you have two mass sign, that means it's like you have common factor taken out. So that's why mass 1 there is a square and then 4y plus 1 square as well. So in this case, I don't want to stick two negative sign over there but I will prefer to write it as, uh, or change it to 4y plus 1 square by the idea I put in yellow on the right column. And let's see whether you uh, like to use it or not. The other situation would be, uh, some students like to do it in this way, minus 4y minus 1 square, and they would like to match it with, uh, this is called a minus b bracket square. So that's why in this case, your a will be minus 4y, your b would be 1. So that's why in the um, simplification as follow, it goes to minus 4y a square minus uh, 2a and b and lastly plus 1 square. And you expand it and you've got the same result. So let's see whether you prefer the first one in yellow or the second one in red. So both are okay, but you have to uh, make your own choice to which one you would like to apply. Okay, coming up next, so you go to simplify it, and then I skip some steps maybe, until 17y squared minus 9y minus 3 equals 0. So in this case, now you can check for the delta. Delta would be b squared minus 4, a, and c, which gives you 285, and it's positive. So that's why there is two points of intersection. That is okay so far so good right hopefully you grab the basic ideas about um, finding the number of points of intersection and the next part I would like to uh, further elaborate uh, some other um, uh, further questions on top of this just applying for Delta 
And then for example, like um, now you have a circle, you just draw it casually. You have a circle and you have a straight line uh, cutting across the circle at two points right, by judging about delta. And for example, these two points, I call them A and B. And then can you find the points of uh, the points precisely? And then in this case, that means you are not just talking about delta, but you are talking about solving the equation, isn't it? And then as a result, in this case, now, now uh, the first variation of the question will be, uh, if you want to find the A and B out, this time, after 17y squared minus 9y minus 3 equals 0, you have to solve it out. So by now you can try to check from your calculator, uh, get the roots, which, uh, okay, now I check it by myself. Uh, one of them is called 0 0.76123. Uh, I prefer to write a bit longer, maybe 1, 3, 4. Another one would be negative 0 0.23182. So that means these two values, they are the y coordinates of A and B respectively. And then next, uh, after you've got the y, how can you get the x? Do you know how to do so? Yes, so you can put uh, y is 0 0.761234 into, going back to the equation of straight 9, it's called x plus 4y plus 1 equals 0. Then you'll get the uh, x accordingly. And now I try to get my own answer, and you help me to verify it by yourselves. Okay, times 4 plus 1. Uh, x will be 2.04. I write it in 3 six fake because that's my final answer. Uh, whereas, <coughs> you put y is minus 0 0.231x22 into, again, back to the equation of straight 9. Uh, you get another x accordingly, minus 0 0.231x22 times 4. Okay, and then plus 1. And you've got x will be 0 0.0727. Okay, you let me verify it afterward. Okay, I find some mistakes here. This one should be, okay, let's wait. First one should be minus 4.04, .04. next one is negative. So that's why the pawns will be, or the pawns of intersection, pawns of intersection. Uh, of course, we don't know uh, A and B precisely, so it depends on the question. But you know the pawns will be, uh, first one is minus 0 0.0727, uh, minus 0 0.232, the first pawn. And also the other pawns will be called minus 4.04, .04, but as well as 0 0.76. One for the points of intersection. Uh, this is one way the question may be asked. The second situation that the question may be asked will be, oh, there may be a midpoint of M, and then you want to find out the the midpoint of M, maybe the x coordinate, y coordinate, and it depends on the question once again. Okay, for example, I want to find y coordinates of of M. In this case, of course, it's about midpoint of these two values that you have obtained already. But what if we just start from the quadratic equation? Yes, it's harder, right? And in this case, so what is it? So you, you, you do remember when you solve this equation, you are solving A and B for the, it's their y coordinates. In this case, you, you may think of like alpha beta when we are talking about A and B. When you talk about midpoint, then it's like you are talking about the average over two about alpha plus beta. So that's why in this case we can quickly do it in uh, uh, find the y coordinates of m by not solving the equation of solving the equation and get the values of y, which is uh, when you talk about sum of roots. So that means we have seventeen y square minus nine y minus three equals zero, and then so you can say sum of roots will be minus b over a, which is minus negative 9 over 17, is 9 over 17. And then in this case, so that's why uh, y coordinates of m, which is the midpoint, y coordinates of m, which is the midpoint, will be 9 over 17 over 2. That is uh, uh, 9 over 34. 
That's all. If you further want to talk about the x coordinates of coordinates of m, so I change to yellow maybe. There is a more advanced question, and let's try hard to understand it. Now you you take a look is m is a point on this straight line, which maybe I call L. And as we have find the y coordinate of m already, so that's why you can put this value into the equation of straight line which is called x plus 4 times 9 over 34 plus 1 equals 0. And you obtain the value of x, which is, well, let me see, which is minus 35 over 17. Well, these two concepts are harder, or maybe number two and number three, they are harder. So that's why I try hard to understand it, because later on you will see this question in the MC and the examination. Okay, finally, so let's review what we have done uh, right now by using the diagram as follow. So you can use this software like GeoGebra, or maybe the Desmos we use in the lesson to sketch your graph very quickly. So what did I do right now would be, so I try to sketch the two equations on the diagram. So the first one would be the straight line, and the other one will be a circle. So at first, when we check for the delta, we are actually checking how many points of intersection over there. So these are the point A and B, which I draw uh, the little flowers in red over there. And then, so this is the situ first situation. If you want to, okay, so that means uh, first question, when we check for delta, okay, which is you got greater than zero, that means there are two points of intersection over there. The second case we have came uh, we have come across will be if you want to precisely find the uh, solve the equations you have to solve okay solve seventeen y squared minus nine y minus three equals zero and then so after solving it you have y is certain thing and then finally you put y is certain thing into back to the equation which is called x plus four y plus uh, plus one equals zero and you obtain the values or positions of A and B precisely. So these are shown uh, on the left column, on the algebra column, on the left hand side. And so this is the second kind of equation, uh, second kind of question. When we come to some other one called number three, which we want to find the midpoint, where I call C here, or uh, right now I call it point M. Uh, if we don't want to solve it directly, we check for some of roots of roots. Because it's midpoint, so that's why we over two to calculate its position. So it depends on the equation. If it is in terms of y, then you got the uh, uh, y coordinate of the midpoint. If uh, so, that's why some of roots together with the equation so gives you a y coordinate of uh, midpoint m midpoint m maybe i change it into m here okay because the equation now is in terms of y you have uh, some situation that the equation is in terms of x in this case then you'll get the x coordinate of the midpoint how about the fourth case if you want to find the x coordinate of the midpoint it's all right then uh, to this value so you put it into the equation of straight line which is called x plus 4y equal to minus 1, or according to your question, it's called plus 1 equals 0. After some step, you have x is something, and this value will be the x coordinates of the midpoint of m. So these are uh, some possibilities of kinds of questions you will be facing in your work or maybe in your exam. But uh, it's not that very easy, so that's why you may need to watch the video again. See you.